Proceed. Let's talk slow cooking. My favorite kind of cooking, it transforms food. Le Creuset is the best for slow cooking. It's, it's cast on an enamel. The enamel is a sort of a non-stick, non-porous surface, but also allows you to brown your food. Browning food makes it flavorful. Today we're going to do a, uh, a simple cassoulet. People think that cassoulet is very, you know, exotic. It takes weeks to prepare. And you need goose confit and Toulouse sausage. Make it easy on yourself. Use simple ingredients. We've got bacon. We've got some good sausage. We've got some pork shoulder here. Um, and we're going to start with the bacon. My favorite technique for cooking bacon. Got a hot pan. Is to start it in water. It's a great technique. The water will cook off, all the bacony goodness will be left in your pan, and it's just fabulous. So I always cook my bacon like this. I always start with water, then I can do, go do some other things, and I don't need to think about it until I start to hear that crackle of the bacon. Okay, now the bacon is brown. I'm going to remove it. And we're going to brown our pork shoulder. Inexpensive cut of meat, very flavorful. It's tough, so you cook it low and slow, and it makes for a great finished dish. Okay, now the pork is seared. Next thing, I'm gonna add some sausages. Again, these will cook in a stew, but we wanna brown them so that they are visually appealing. Now our sausage is nicely brown. We can start layering our cassoulet. We're gonna put back the, the seared pork. We're gonna add back our lordons, and then we're gonna take some beautiful white beans that we've soaked overnight. We're gonna layer in these beans. We're gonna use that magical ingredient Water, I love it. We don't need to make fancy stocks. French and Italian cooking, you know, at home cooking, they don't make stocks. They build their stocks into the process of cooking, which this slow cooking really does, is what the slow cooking is all about, developing flavors. So I've also gotten some onion. Again, brown flavor, sweetness of the onion. Can add some carrot to the stew. Again, sweetness and flavor. And then last, we're gonna add a couple of bay leaves. They add a, they add a savoriness to the, to the dish that I really like. And I simmer this for about 30 minutes on the stove top, and then I pop it in the oven and I forget about it. I bumped into a lady uh, at a bookstore the other day and she said, I bought one of these great liquor set pans last year, but I still haven't cooked from it because I'm too afraid. That's crazy. I mean, these, these things are virtually indestructible. They don't scratch, you can't hurt them. Uh, they're just solid stuff, you know, they're meant to be used, cooked hard in, you know, that's what it's all about. It's, that's part of the fun of using them. It just came out of the oven, it's absolutely beautiful, the, the liquid is going to become creamy, everything is coalesced, the pork is obviously tender, um, this is nice and thick and rich and delicious, it's a beautiful bean dish. And the plate, we just want to make sure everybody has a nice chunk of pork, some sausage, plenty of lardons and then some of these creamy, delicious beans. Garnish with a little parsley for color. Again, a simple, economical, absolutely fabulous dish. Le Croset, cassoulet, you gotta do it. Let's talk slow cooking. My favorite kind of cooking.